Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about relative clauses. Let's have a look at these sentences together. I want you to pay attention to the structure and how it's split into two sentences. Have a look at these sentences. We had to pick the old fruit. It is under the fruit trees. We went to a place called Wadi Ram with my uncle. He is a pilot. Wadi Ram is a remote area. It has orange mountains. She tells him to be careful. Uncle Jack never listens. My mother knows how to make a pie made from many kinds of fruit. She used the dates that we picked off the trees. Each of these two sentences can be combined into one sentence. Can you do it? We had to pick the old fruit, which is under the fruit trees. We went to a place called Wadi Ram with my uncle, who is a pilot. Wadi Ram is in a remote area that has orange mountains. She tells him to be careful, but Uncle Jack never listens to her. My mother knows how to make a pie made from many kinds of fruit and use the dates that we picked off the trees. Here is the key. A clause is a part of a sentence. A relative clause tells us which thing or person a speaker talks about. If it is a thing, the word you need is that or which. If it is a person, the word you need is who or sometimes, that. Often, relative clauses are used to identify or define things you do not know. Let's look at these sentences again. We had to pick the old fruit, which is under the fruit trees. We went to a place called Wadi Ram with my uncle, who is a pilot. Wadi Ram is in a remote area that has orange mountains. Sometimes we add additional information to the sentence using and. When the information is conflicting, we use but. Let's look at these sentences again. She tells him to be careful, but Uncle Jack never listens to her. My mother knows how to make a pie made from many kinds of fruit and use the dates that we picked off the trees. Another way is to think of answers to questions as being relative clauses. Look at the example. We had to pick the old fruit, which is under the fruit trees. Question, which fruit do they pick? Statement, the fruit which is under fruit trees. Relative clause structure answer. We had to pick the old fruit, which is under the fruit trees. Now look at another example. Question, what is a frying pan? Statement, a frying pan lets you fry things over a flame. Relative clause structure answer, it is a thing that or which lets you fry things over a flame. Let's refresh your memory. What is a subject and what is an object? Simply put, a subject is generally a noun or pronoun that tells us whether something is a person, place, or thing. It tells us what the focus of the sentence is. Look at this example. This is the book I want to read. In a sentence, an object is affected by the action of a verb. It is usually a noun or pronoun. In the example, book is the object. The verb here is read. And now that we have an idea about relative clause structure, here are a few more things to remember. Which can be used instead of that. But remember, that is usually used more often than which. If the noun is the subject of a relative clause, it must be followed by that, which, and who. That and which is for things, and who and that is for people. Look at the example. The boy who is riding the bike has brown hair. In the example, boy is the subject of the verb has, therefore you cannot drop the relative pronoun. The teacher that gave me the English test study guide. The teacher who gave me the English test study guide. In this example, teacher is the subject of the verb gave, therefore you cannot drop the relative pronoun. If the noun is the object of a relative clause, that, which, and, who, can be included or left out. In other words, you can drop that, which, and who if the noun or information is describing the object of the sentence, but not when it is describing the subject of the sentence. For example, this is the new book I want to read it. This is the new book that I want to read. 
This is the new book which I want to read. This is the new book I want to read. In this example, book is the direct object of the verb want. Therefore, you can drop the relative pronoun. Thank you. See you next time.